Good morning from a cold and snowy Utah. I just finished this journal and um, I'm here to show it to you. So it has a, like a, um, a ribbon type wrap with a little mother of pearl slide. And like so, actually, let me take this off. I'm just gonna slip it off. Sometimes that's easier than buckling it. <clears throat> so here's the journal. It's made from an old French book cover. And uh, the spine was gone, practically. And so, plus I would have had to expand it. And this is um, the new spine. It's a hollow spine, so it will lay flat. I was quite happy with the way that came out. There's the back. It's in a little bit rough shape. I had to, um, actually I'm gonna pull this up just a bit. I had to uh, put corners on because they were just, they weren't just bumped, they were mashed pretty much. So um, I did put the corners on, but I, I love it. I think it came out really nice. And um, so let's flip through it. I open it up, and this is the first picture. I am including um, a selection of little book plates for whoever gets it, so you can put that in there if you want. I didn't want to put it in there and then have someone not like that, so um, that's what I decided to do. And here we have, um, this is made a uh, coffee filter ruffle. And then a little wax seal with some really nice ribbon. And then it's just some journaling cards. And then the next page, this side tuck was made from uh, part of a, oh, the embroideries from, I can't remember if it was a, like a doily or something larger. And then we have a little antique um, trade card. Here's the title page from the book, dated 1853. Some of these um, digitals are from Oh my goodness, is it over the moon? I'll have to put it in the description box. I end up using different ones and then I don't remember. Anyway, and here a little side tuck with this sweet boy, which this is um, a copy from um, the original that's in my collection, a little button card. So those can journal on the back of those. This is a treated napkin. I have this page. Um, yeah, this was a digital. And over here we have a pocket with, this is an old mimeograph, if anybody remembers those, 1944, an onion skin. And then a journaling card that I made. I have to be careful because I think I get out of frame really easy and I don't realize it. This is an original engraving from the book itself. Here's the rest of that other page and the napkin. And here's a top tuck with a journaling card that, that I made. Another page from the book. And another side tuck with an antique uh, trade card. And here's a center signature with two French 
um, well, they actually, they're trade cards. This doesn't have any advertising on it, I don't think. But they were given out like a trade card. And then they are actually, they are antiques. And this is just a little, um, the butterfly embroidered for something else and never used it. And put it on this little um, disc. Here we have a little padded pocket. I'm trying to think who made that. Gosh, I just need to write all these things down. This is antique trade card. still has part of the other side of it. Um, I might try to sand that off, actually. It just slips, slips in there. My mimeograph. This is old wallpaper that I made into a pocket or a side tuck, more of that um, coffee filter ruffle. And this is another, this is an antique trade card. And that's what was on the back. So I just left it. And then, now I go my dogs. I have this lovely piece of paper. Old German book page. Part of a receipt. This is lovely paper. Oh, um, I think those are actual inclusions. So it have been handmade paper. This is from an old eight, um, 1859 Peterson's magazine. I just made it into a double pocket with two antique calling cards and some lace. More of that receipt. And this is a little bag I made courtesy of um, Heather from Ruby and Pearl. I learned from her video. It's got a 1916 calendar in there. You could put whatever you wanted in there. <clears throat> and this is a pocket made from a calling card. It's quite a fancy one with the fringe. And then it's this. And this is the... Um, Sample. Gosh, can't think today. Sample card for actually for fabric and lace, but that's paper that's in there. That's just some stenciling. And some stitching. This is another page from the book. Lovely um, marbled paper. It's the real deal, it's not a copy. And lots of writing places. And this is um, from 1896 with gorgeous writing. Darling children. More of that marbled paper. Old graph paper. Another page from the book. I love him. More um, coffee filter ruffle. And another um, ledger page from 1895. This is just a little top tuck with um, a calling card in there. And some old music. Another page from the book. Tuck with the, these were um, in a Victorian scrapbook album. And then this idea with these tags for tucks I got from, um, I think it was Sharon Hurd that did it, and I thought, what a great idea. So these have just got little, uh, nothing special um, 
tags that you could ch swap out for something else that you might like better. They're both pretty much the same. And then you'd have a tuck on the other side, which has the other little flower vase from the Victorian scrapbook. Book page from the book. Antique music, antique receipt, more of that ledger page. This is just writing space. Here we have a belly band made from some lace and ribbon and the antique um, card. And I didn't I didn't um, cover the back. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but they had this sweet little scrap on there still. I didn't want to cover that up or take it off, so I just left it. And then this is a an antique French letter. So I tucked in here. From 1861. And that's that. And then this is a big pocket. We have a vintage postcard. It's not a copy. But it's a big pocket, so you could stuff whatever you wanted in there. Let's see if I'm tracing paper. Music. Another receipt. Another document. And there's a center of the signature when this is a lace pocket. And this has, uh, they're both rewards of merit and they are antique. We have this lovely page, which is a copy of, I have the original from uh, like a Godie's Ladies book. And this one is from Peterson's Magazine from 1859. Which are fun, I think. And this is just folded over. And it's an advertising card. Palatable castor oil, mind you. <laughs> That's kind of hard to believe. Part of a receipt. And another big pocket with a lovely um, Babes in the Woods. This is Wilson Spice. You can get a free picture. And this is the back. And that is it really happy the way the spine turned out. I had to make the spine bigger than I had intended to get all of this and um, so I had to make more signatures than I was planning on. So I actually ended up being thicker than or fuller than I anticipated because I was going to put more pockets and things but um, as it turned out I think it's okay. I like it. And, <clears throat> excuse me, it will be going into my shop at some point on Etsy. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone who does come and watch and comment. And um, I will see you next time. Bye.